wow, that briefing was not fucking around with that, uh, that shape to, uh, allies portion. Yeah. Uh, well, look, the air is confident. He's cripplingly overconfident. It's always nice to see that Vieira thinks that we're going to win. <laughs> With his terrible, terrible mustache. No, no, no the, due to a clerical you know, error... Th it's that other Asheron. Yeah, the Asheron that Marcus was talking about was A-S-H. Asheron, yeah. Not A-C-H. Well, what, what, was, what was happening is the guy the guy who discovered it was like radioing it into some guy in an office, and the guy in the office couldn't spell. <laughs> yeah, sort of like aluminum and aluminium. Yeah. Nice. Oh well. So, are, are we using broken DLC weapons this time? No! Uh, we are no, using we're not. the Condor. Not the Condor, the Condor. Yeah, I always did find that a bit weird. It's a, it's a very specific typo. Yeah, well, I figured it... There's just me auto-aiming, I'm just phoning it in. Mm. Um, I think there was like one programming note that wasn't passed along, and then it just made it through because of English. Yeah. i got to say, though, besides the awful spelling and the GUI, I do really, really, really like the Condor as a multi-purpose missile. Um, it's a great choice. It is a really good choice. I just genuinely preferred... Uh, the other spear, yeah, those other things that can go in slot three. Yeah, I mean, the condor is a good slot yeah. two, just because slot then one. You can get slot one. Us. Yeah, there's only like one anti fire yeah. missile in one. Oh, yeah. this is me actually using the freaking sight homing. Yeah, we, we told you, we told you about the sight homing, bro. Whatever. The, are there any, like, and- oh! This is me remembering- Oh, uh, you remembered. To tell these people to fuck off. Two minutes, thirteen seconds. Oh, well that's with cutscene. That's not even fair. Yeah, well the last one's all had cutscene too. Ah, who cares. Shh. So yeah, these- these weapons. I gotta say, the <laughs> reason- the reason I like the Condor is mostly because if you if you want to put something ridiculous and overpowered that we could talk about but won't in slot three, then obviously you're down a multi-purpose missile because you've got the thrush, which you would have been using, which is great, but you're not because you're going with something overpowered, or the long spear, which we also technically shouldn't be talking about, but eh, whatever, you start it. Actually, by the time I posted this, the demo video will have the long spear and the maelstrom. Lovely. Oh, so we can talk about Yes, that. we can bring up the Maelstrom, even though I won't be using it in game. What? It's in a special edition, okay. so you know what? You're at home. If you don't watch my special editions, fuck you. You don't get to hear about the cool things. Yeah. So anyway, the point is, if you want to use the Maelstrom bomb in slot three, and or or even not? one or even one of the other things, it just means that you can have a great missile that can still tear shit up, and it's great against formations, and it has that nifty thing where it fires six missiles and they split into ten, like that, just there. That, well, I don't care about the splitting thing, in fact, I kind of think it's a tiny bit not obnoxious, just too many steps. Eh. Like, I, I don't like burst missiles, maybe maybe that's just, it just reminds me of uh, this one missile in free space that did the exact same thing, but also, but sucked too. So, hmm. you know, mimetic stuff is just stuck in my brain, so yeah. I always think of cluster missiles as bad, yeah. even when they're not. Yeah. Now, well, admi admittedly, the one thing that it loses compared to the, the thrush, and particularly the long spear, is the radius. But, hey, you're, it's, that's the price it's you pay for one. getting to use something awesome in slot 3. Yeah, and besides, it's... you're using it against enemies in formation, and if you're playing this game properly, that's how you'll be taking on fighters anyway, so... What do you want? I... I... I, I don't even know what I want anymore. Uh, oh god, my life is a confusing mystery, I'm breaking down! <laughs> Anyhow, um, speaking of cluster weapons, the mines. Did you ever use any mines, ever? Other than the Milestone Bomb, no. No, no I did not. That's not even a mine, that's a bomb. Well, I mean, it functions it, as a mine. Yeah, it's one of those confusing 
grey area designations. But yeah, no, I did like, not I was... use any of the mines. Because, like, holy fuck. How, how can you ever use those things? Do you know how I... big space is? Space is, uh, like, you. how's the old quote go? You think that walk to the pharmacy is a bit of a walk, but that's just peanuts to space. I think that's how let's, the quote goes. Let's go with that. Yeah, let's go with that. So the point um, is, space is really, really, really big. And not only is it really big, it's really big in a whole additional dimension to which a normal really big battlefield would be really big. Well, I mean, arguably it's big in, I don't know, nine additional dimensions? Well... I don't know, straight theory. Lulls. Yeah, let's, let's not go there. Okay, in an additional observable dimension. Yes, that works gloriously. I'm just going to continue on the on the tangent in which I was going, if that's all right with everyone. Well, no, 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 no. I just want to bring up one thing. And oh, the reason God. why I bring up the mines was because no. of the special edition recording, and I never. Okay, used so to now now recording. you want to talk about the mine and not about string theory. I was talking about the mine earlier, then you were talking about space, and then you kept talking about space! <laughs> and then you kept talking about string theory, and I wanted to talk about well, mines, I but I couldn't talk about mines. Well, I was space with string theory because of extra dimensions. Bah. Bah to you too, good sir. Uh. Bah. Anyhow, but yeah, no, the, the cluster mine was actually really useful against formations, but I only got like five, and it's... Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, so space, big, right? Yeah, space is big. So On a scale of it's one kind to of ten, difficult to place a mine in space such that it will ever actually hit anything. You do remember Mission 8, right? Yeah, well that was that was fucking Admiral Vieira running into a trap head on because he's Admiral uh, fucking Vieira. And, and me a couple times. Um Most of the enemies that we are fighting have the notable advantage of not being Admiral Vieira, which means that they are able to avoid mines. Uh, also, the Aiden thing was a mine field, whereas you can only drop individual mines. The whole point well, of minefields is that um, a mine they're, is they're never fields. really that great, whereas lots of mines increases the odds of somebody actually stepping on one. And Fucking hell, the three minute time limit. I. But what, why would they even be enforcing a three minute time limit besides, like, refueling? Uh, there, or... is, there is no justification in most of these. There just isn't. It's just, nope, we felt that this mission was getting too easy, so have an arbitrary time limit because game design. Game <laughs> design. Or, okay, here's another theory the low level AI, which is used to, uh, keep track of the fusion of the Lucky Star Discs, actually gets really bored and, like, hates dealing with that much Lucky Star, so you need to take the AI out and, you know, let it watch something else. Let's go with that explanation. I like that explanation. Any explanation which involves burning Lucky Star DVDs is a good explanation. Like I said, let's just go with that. My god, how many guys are there on that last Gargantro and he's not dead yet? That's the last one. Dear god, those other guys all suck. I... Yeah. But all ships in the 17th ID fleet have survived, so I'm a cool dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're in great shape. Sadly, you're still in charge. 